Rail historians are hoping to unravel the secrets of a mysterious, unnamed steam locomotive that worked in a County Durham colliery until 1912. The engine may have been built in the 1850s, but it could be earlier and may even be an original George Stevenson. Our business correspondent Ian Reeve has been investigating. An industrial relic that may be about to give up its secrets. This unnamed locomotive was possibly built in the 1850s, but it may be earlier. It may even be an original George Stevenson. Michael and Peter are locomotive historians, ready to examine every rivet and bolt of it in Shildon's Railway Museum. We want to examine the locomotive to determine when it was made. I'm not sure it's important, but it's very interesting, which is why I want to do it. For, just for the sheer fun of it. We have here uh, one of the oldest locomotives in the world uh, and it's really quite surprising that given that it is that old we don't know as, as much about it as we ought to. We owe it I think to everybody after all this time to be able to say, tell the world this locomotive was built in date X, this locomotive was rebuilt in date Y and the story behind it will build up that understanding that we have. The locomotive worked at Hetton Colliery in County Durham until 1912. A long working life it was preserved in the 1920s. It even took part in 1925 centenary procession for the Stockton and Darlington Railway. But latterly, the engine was at Beamish. The investigative project at Shildon will take about three months, but when it's over, the engine won't be going back. When the work is finished, the locomotive will be moved to a different location within the main display hall here, and it will be on display for years to come. The hope is that by the time of its permanent display, we'll know all about this locomotive, an enigmatic engine no more. Ian Reeve, BBC Look North, Shildon.